I'm Sarah Perry, I'm a writer from Norwich and I've been living in Prague for two months as a City of Literature writer in residence while I research and hopefully write some of my third novel. I do feel quite sad that I only have a few days left here. I've come to love the city in some quite unexpected ways. Um, I'm going to miss walking around in this extraordinary atmosphere which is quite unlike anything that I've experienced in the UK. I will miss the jackdaws, who are my friends, that I feed as often as I can. And I will miss how friendly the people have been, um, bearing with my terrible attempts to speak Czech and helping me pronounce it better. And I will miss the opportunity to be inspired by something quite different from the landscape and the atmosphere that I'm used to. So yeah, I'm sad to be going. I think I had rather high expectations of myself when I set off and um, thought perhaps I would write 20 or 30,000 words of my next book while I was here. But I discovered that I can write anywhere, um, but it's only here that I will have the opportunity to get to know a foreign city and to travel outside of Prague to some other towns. So on the one hand I'm slightly cross with myself that I haven't written reams and reams of new work, but I've discovered things that I could never have anticipated before I left. For example, I realised I have a tendency to rely on water and coastal landscapes um, to provide me with inspiration for character and for theme and for plot. And being away from all of that has made me confront other ideas, um, aspects of history I knew nothing about, kinds of atmosphere that I'd never really encountered before. And I've been amazed to find that it actually has changed the way that I plot novels, it's changed the narrative, it's given me fresh ideas for stories that I could never have encountered if I hadn't been here. So it's been an amazing example of how on the one hand my expectations haven't been met because they were the wrong expectations, but the ones that I didn't even plan for have been exceeded, which I think has been a really remarkable part of the experience. Um, I particularly love being anywhere near the river. Uh, when I was young I used to play the theme Moldau from Smetna's Marvlast, uh, which is obviously about the river Voltava. And if you'd have told the young Sarah that one day she would be living in a flat overlooking the water, she would have been amazed. So I've been so pleased to be able to get to know it. Um, I also love being inside or anywhere near the National Theatre. I've been to the opera eight times in my time here and I feel really sad that I'm not going to be able to carry on going there kind of once a week which is what I've been doing. As regards writing I always write in desk 209 of the Prague National Library and if I arrive in the morning too late to have my desk I get extremely cross and don't understand why someone's at my desk and I'll really miss it there's a little brass pluck with the number 209 on it and kind of feel like it should have my name on. One of the things I've enjoyed most has been travelling outside of Prague. Um, I was lucky enough to visit a couple of high schools in Tabor and Strakonica and to meet these fantastic teenagers who spoke English pretty much better than I do and were so welcoming and so enthusiastic about writing and asked lots of fantastic questions and really made me feel welcome and wanted here. And I've also been out to Carlo Vivari, um, which was a really extraordinary place and um, it's been amazing to get to know the country beyond Prague and that's something I'd like to do a little bit more when I come back. Yes, I'm already planning coming back. I want to see Prague in the summer and in the autumn and all through the seasons and um, I've even gone to the trouble of touching the statue of St John on the Charles Bridge as I understand that that guarantees that I will return. But I feel really happy here. I feel the city welcomed me and that it gave me so much that I wasn't expecting. So I anticipate coming back as often as I can. And I'm so glad I had the opportunity to get to love it in the way that I do.